Hi, this is Motima STV. My name is Richie Sabo, and you are welcome to our new series, Wisdom from the Bible. In this particular episode, we are considering two things. One is the six acts of folly that kills a man, and then we will also talk about the six acts of wisdom that raises a man. First, we are talking about the six acts of folly that kills a man. In this particular episode, we are learning from the life of David and his sons. And we are narrowing down on two particular sons of David, Adonijah and Solomon. In this setting, we are at the stage in David's life when he was old in age and weak. It is believed that David at the age of 70 passed away. So, at the age where David was reportedly weak and his sons struggled over his kingdom, he was supposed to be around the age of 69. Now, Adonijah is the son of David, whom the Bible tells us was very rude and didn't listen to his father's instruction. It is reported in the Bible, and I read from 1 Kings chapter 1, verse 6. It reads, His father had never rebuked him by asking, why do you behave as you do? He was very handsome and was born next after Absalom. Now, this report concerning Adonijah clearly states that he was a wayward boy and his father never had the time to, or he, had, he never had the opportunity of getting corrections from his father. We, we are using the case of Adonijah to establish the six acts of folly that kills a man. Unfortunately, we are not trying to say that Adonijah was a foolish son. All what we are trying to do is to pick out six of his mistakes that he committed that led to his death. Because it is reported that Adonijah died. And he died out of something that he requested from the king, which the king deemed to be a foolish request. Let's look at the six acts of Adonijah that we may consider or that we consider to be the acts of folly that led to his death. Number one is pride. And when we look at the story of Adonijah as reported, let us read from 1 Kings chapter 1, verse 5 downwards. Now Adonijah, whose mother was hugging, put himself forward and said, I will be king. So he got carriers and horses ready, with fifty men to run ahead of him. His father had never his father had never rebuked him by asking. Why do you behave as you do? He was a very handsome. He was very handsome and was born next after Absalom. Adonijah conferred with Joab, son of Zuria, and with Abiathar the priest, and they gave him support. But Zadok the priest, Benaiah, son of Joiada, Nathan the prophet, Shimei and Rea, and David's special guard did not join Adonijah. Later on, when we read from Nathan's report concerning Adonijah, and I read, Today he has gone down and sacrificed great multitude of cattle, fattened cows, and sheep. And he has invited all the king's sons, the commanders of the army, and Abiathar the priest. Right now they are eating and drinking with them, saying, Long live Adonijah the king. This clearly states that Adonijah sought the support of some people and made himself king without the approval of his father, the king of Israel. When we consider his story, we draw out five or six major points that we consider to be the folly that he committed that led to his death. To take it one by one, Adonijah's pride led him into making himself or bringing himself forth and and telling himself that he will be king without any approval or appointment from the father. It is believed that when Adonijah brought forth himself and said that he will be king, he got some people to support him. So that moves us to the second point, his choice of friends. The kind of people that supported Adonijah never gave him the right advice because they knew that the only person that could make Adonijah king 
was his father, the anointed one. Yet they supported him, knowing very well that the boy was wayward. The third point, which is the source of approval, is that Adonijah refused to seek approval from the right source. Adonijah went ahead and proclaimed himself king without the approval of God, without the approval of the anointed one of God, which is his father, the king, David, and without the prophet of God, which is Nathan. So he sought approval from his friends. And once his friends decided to support him, he knew that he had the approval of some people. He sought the approval of the army. And once he knew that the army supported him, he thought he had the right approval to proclaim himself king. All these were some of the follies that he committed that led to his death. The next thing is the place of sacrifice. Why did Adonijah choose the stone of Zohele? It is believed, and I read from 1 Kings chapter 1 again, and we read from verse 9. Adonijah then sacrificed sheep, cattle, and fattened cows at the stone of Zoheleth near Enrogel. Now, Zoheleth is a stone which normally is called the serpent stone. It is called the serpent stone not because it is an evil stone. It is called the serpent stone because of its resemblance. The resemblance of the texture or the, the appearance of the stone resembles that of a serpent. But there is one interesting thing about it. Scholars believe that Zoheleth relates to carnality. So the reason why Adonijah chose to sacrifice at the stone of Zoheleth is because he was carnally minded. Carnality is also another act of folly. And this is one of the reasons or the follies that led to his death. He chose to sacrifice at a place near where the women from the village of Ceylon came to Enrochel to fetch water. This is an act of showmanship, if I may see. Because he decided to show his strength, his valor, his power at the sight of women. These are some of the follies that we all commit in our youth. Today we are talking about Adonijah, but it may be me or you. We may also talk about his source of motivation. What motivated Adonijah into moving to En Rochelle or Sohele to sacrifice there? What motivated Adonijah to make himself king? What motivated Adonijah into proclaiming himself king and to seeking the consent or advice of the wrong people? We see at the later life of Adonijah that when he got the opportunity because he was pardoned by the king, so he went to the mother of the queen, Bathsheba, to make a request. When Adonijah had the opportunity to make a request, what sort of request? Did Adonijah break? He asked for a very beautiful lady that was brought to King David to warm his body at the point that he needed warmth. Adonijah asked for a woman. This may also be deemed as another act of folly. When we are given the opportunity to make a request, what kind of request do we make? What sort of sacrifice did Adonijah also make? The sacrifices he made, what kind of people did he choose to enjoy his power, his strength, his valor with? He chose to enjoy it with his friends at the place of carnality. He chose to enjoy it in the presence of women. These are some of the follies of the youth of today. When we are giving small opportunity, when we are giving small money, when we are giving small power. First, it is about our pride. Second, it is about our choice of friends. Third, it is about the place where we choose to sacrifice. Fourth, it is about 
the kind of sacrifices and the kind of people that we choose to enjoy with and the kind of people the women that we choose to display our valor our strength our our power and our wealth in front of these are acts of carnality and these are acts of folly that leads to our death motivation is a reason for acting in a particular way what was Adonijah's reason for displaying his power in the presence of women? What was Adonijah's reason for choosing to display his power with his friends? What was the reason behind Adonijah's approval from his friends and not from the king and not from the God of Israel and not from the prophet Nathan? What made Adonijah proclaim himself king? It was because he had evil intention. Our intent will either bring us life or it will lead us to death. When we get the opportunity to do something, what is our intent behind what we do? We would like to read something from the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 to 25. It reads, Whatever you do, Work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. As working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you, may re you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as your reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for their wrongs. There is no favoritism. Adonijah decided to make himself king but the question is who was he interested in saving as christians we are advised to always have the good intention knowing that whatever we are doing we are doing it for the lord and it is the lord christ jesus that we are saving when we choose to do the wrong things we will resemble adonijah at the end of the day when Adonijah had the opportunity to make a request in front of the king, he requested for a woman. And because of this, because of the fact that the woman was reserved for the king, Adonijah was killed. What choices do we make even in the presence of the Lord? The choices we make determine our wisdom or our folly. In the first place, when we become proud, when we become impatient, when we choose to seek approval from the wrong source, when we choose to display our valor, our strength, our wealth in the presence of women, in the dark places, in the places of carnality, and when we choose to act with wrong motives, and when we choose to be motivated by the wrong reasons, and when we choose not to abide by the strength of Jehovah, but we choose to use our strength to serve wrong purposes. These are acts of folly that will bring us to our death. Like how Adonijah's death came swiftly upon him because of his wrong choices. Today, we are being advised to make the right choices and to avoid the choices or the acts of folly that will bring death upon us. This has been Motivated Minds. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel, Multi Minds TV. We are also on Daily Motion at Multi Minds TV. On all social media platforms, search for Motivated Minds or Multi Minds TV. We thank you for always being there for us. The next episode is entitled, The Five, the five Arts of Wisdom That Brings Up a Man. Thank you.